Okay, great. Well, welcome back, everybody. And we have until 3.30? Yes. Time check? Okay, good. So, um, good amount of time for us together in this um, third session for today. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to be speaking about mandates. And uh, we've <coughs> spoken about the fact that as... Um, an organization grows from being a pioneering initiative um, on into a larger, more complex organization. It becomes increasingly difficult for the founding group to deal with the many um, issues that arise that need action and attention. And um, in the founding stages, we have um, this um, sense that the few of us who are directly involved can do our business together around the kitchen table. And as we grow, that becomes less and less effective in terms of a means of managing our business. Um, there's too much going on for everyone to be involved in everything. And so we have to find some effective means to um, move beyond the kitchen table to manage our affairs. Now, there's a, um, a couple of things that come into play oftentimes at this stage in the school's development. Um, we have probably, in the initial stages of the school's growth, developed a democratic tendency. We have to decide everything together. Um, everyone gets a vote on everything and the result becomes endless, very long meetings, um, lots of discussion, very little action. And so the amount of manpower it takes to, <laughs> yes, I'm hearing laughter already in the back row, um, the, the amount of manpower it takes to make increasingly simple decisions begins to escalate and increase and increase and increase. And obviously not um, a good use of the talent that's in the community. So what happens is, even though people are well-intended, really care deeply about the school, the number of things that have to get decided mount and mount, and this creates that black hole effect. Everything kind of gets sucked in to the kitchen table, vortex, big stack of papers, and we never really clear the work that needs to be done. And there's this sense of um, inaction, Boy, don't they care? Don't they understand? Who's the day anyway? They're us, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, who is that day, right? Um, so then this can lead to a second phenomena, which is also not healthy. Um, it's um, a tendency towards oligarchy. What's oligarchy? So it's a situation where one or two workhorses shoulder the burden for the entire group, right? And so um, they sort of serve as the power behind the throne. So it looks like there's a big circle of colleagues who are all working on things together. And the truth is, it's two people who are doing it, and the other people are pretending to be involved, not really involved, and sort of seeding their authority and responsibility to a very small group of insiders. And it hasn't been a formal or a conscious decision. It's just emerged because we got a lot of work to do and we need to find a way to get it done. Um, if you are um, one of the two people who's doing all of the work, it's very easy to move from feeling like you're serving your school to feeling very resentful about the amount of work that you're being asked to do and um, the indifference of others who seem to be happily unaware of how hard you're working to try and make this all happen. Um, but goodness um, forbid that you make a decision that has some unintended consequences and then the entire group is quite clear about where the decision got made and how did that happen? So, these are moments at which we recognize that the development and growth of the school is requiring something more from us. 
Uh, this is the moment to begin creating those Republican academies, the committees, the work groups, um, where we consciously delegate some piece of authority and responsibility to um, a smaller group of people who we trust to do the work on our behalf. So a couple of um, thoughts. Um, creating a mandate system that works requires clarity and trust. So we need to be clear about the specifics of the authority, responsibility, budget available to implement, all of you know, the time frame, what the expected product's going to be, all of those kinds of things when we create a mandate. But we also need to be clear about this bigger vision of the school. What's the strategic plan? Where are we going collectively? So that when I'm doing my work in the teacher search committee, it can be um, illuminated by the larger vision of the school. So that if I know that um, part of our plan, recognizing that my school is only large enough to house um, classes through grade six, and that in fact we want to go through grade eight, that our plan over the next five years is to develop a separate um, campus that houses <coughs> early childhood and grades one through three, and then have a four through eight campus in the existing school, I know what we're looking for potentially long term in terms of teachers, and that gives me a leg up in the search process, because I'm not just trying to fill a particular opening um, today, but I know where the school's going and what the future needs are going to be from a personnel perspective, and so I can plan accordingly and be looking for the longer term solutions in the short term. So that big vision is really helpful to each of the individual committees. That's just one example, but it could happen time and again in all of the various work groups that are um, created at the school. Creating mandate groups really marks a significant turning point in the school's approach to governance. It is um, a transition away from the co-workers meeting as the place where decisions get made and work gets taken up. Um, and it now becomes a place instead where policies are made and mandates are allocated. So it's a shift in the dynamic of this um, founding group. Does that make sense? Right? So how we're spending our time is no longer on trying to answer all of the details as a whole group, but instead moving more towards policy formation and the founding of mandate groups. The policies that a work of um, colleagues could set are um, their guiding principles, right? that will inform the work of smaller groups going forward. If we have clear policies in various areas, then an individual or a capable, or an individual or a committee is capable of making informed decisions on behalf of the whole. Right? We don't all have to do everything. Mm -hmm.